Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, as the title um, says, that uh, is there any combinations, uh, anything that we can see in a chart to say that if this person would end up um, marrying a divorcee, there's really nothing wrong about it. Uh, it's just a question, right? I mean, as astrologers, we have seen um, a plethora of questions. Some can be really weird, really strange. Some uh, is direct. Some are scary even, right? So this is one of the questions which I think uh, is kind of interesting, right? So I'm just going through my my uh, my logs and to see uh, what are the things I can really talk about on YouTube. What are the things that maybe uh, which is rarely uh, you know spoken about on the YouTube. So here it is. Uh, yeah. So there's just two conditions mainly, right? Uh, now, first of all, we need to know the uh, the essence of, of uh, the eighth the eighth is about post um, communion the seventh is a house of communion of two souls coming together okay um, which is why you share your soul with another being with another soul and that would you know change your path which is why they say um, the the seventh the first is a house of beginning the birth the seventh is a house of death right the house of the ending what does it mean is that this is where we move or we have a transition from our individual self to a shared one. Okay, when things get shared, then we tend to learn more things. It's all about learning, right? You tend to be more adaptable, you tend to compromise more, you tend to adjust yourself because you need to, uh, you know, you need to share, right? Which is why marriage is such an integral, such an important thing in life because. Through that, we will know the true meaning of life, right? Marriage um, is such a profound thing in a human life, okay? Um, we can talk about more about marriage and all that, but for now, what are the indications, right? So, if seventh is the house of communion, the eighth is the house of post-marriage. Like, you know, it's what happens after that. So, having said that, these are the things that you need to look for. Number one is... If there, if the seventh, uh, I'm sorry, the eighth lord, is it eight houses apart from the seventh lord? Okay, say for example, if the seventh lord in the, I don't know, maybe Midunarasi, Gemini, and the eighth lord is in the sign of Makara, uh, Capricorn. So from seventh to eighth, um, to the eighth lord, seventh lord to eighth lord is eight houses apart. That's the first indicator. That's a very strong indicator that the person would uh, you know end up getting married with a divorcee or would have some kind of relationship with the divorcee regardless of whether he or she is married or not okay some kind of relationship uh, with a divorcee second thing is uh, if you have rahu uh, and or venus in the 12th if you have rahu together in conjunction uh, with venus in the 12th house that's an indication uh, or if you have either Rahu or Venus in the 12th house um, to say, I mean, to further, um, you know, to solidify the entire uh, divorcee relationship. Okay. So remember, these are the two things. The seventh and the eighth lot must be eight houses apart. And you have either Rahu or Venus or you have Rahu and Venus in the 12th house. Okay. Um, yes. Also, the 12th house, why 12th house, right? The, the 12th house in terms of marriage is, uh, or if you have Rahu and Venus in 12th house, shows a person gets bored very easily in a marriage life. They want excitement, they want romance. It doesn't matter how old they are, they, they want some kind of excitement in marriage. They don't like simple uh, or boredom thing. They want some kind of uh, engagement in a marriage, okay? So they get bored very easily and that boredom in a marriage is super dangerous. Super dangerous, right? So remember that. Uh, the 12th is when you have uh, Venus or Rahu in the 12th shows a person's um, behavior in, in terms of a person's view about marriage is, uh, you know, it gets bored very easily. So they tend to, you know, they want some kind of excitement, some kind of adventure in life. So they tend to move on to uh, these avenues, okay, um, which is extra relationship. So it can be illicit, it can be divine, with some kind of extra relationship extramarital uh, relationship that is um, especially if the 12th house is in a fiery sign uh, like Mesha, uh, Mesha is Aries, uh, Leo 
Simha and also Dhanus Sagittarius. If it's in any of these three signs, it's even a strong indication that the person would have some kind of relationship with the divorcee or would ma marry a divorcee um, in sometime in his or her life. Okay, that's about it guys. Uh, thank you. If you like the video, please uh, like, uh, subscribe and comment. Uh, I will answer to the best of my abilities. Take care. Be safe. Bye-bye.